All right, before I do anything, I just want to say, if you missed out the previous episode, which was episode one in the series, please be sure to go back and watch this one. It explains what this series is. It shows the rosters. It shows everything you need to know about the series. There will be a link in the description to the entire playlist so you can go back and watch episode one. But if you did that, welcome back for episode two of this Tracy McGrady My Career. Now, there are some things I didn't touch up on in the previous episode. Some other things I want to explain is, for t Max rookie season, we are going to be playing on Hall of Fame, and since he only did play like 18 minutes a game, we're gonna keep that part realistic, probably could fit more games into each episode for his rookie season. So in the end, his rookie season should only be a couple of episodes. But yeah, Hall of Fame in his rookie season, then after that, we're gonna put the realistic sliders that I've been doing in all of my other previous my careers. I'm only doing Hall of Fame right now, because Tracy McGrady wasn't all that good in his rookie season, so it's gonna add that little difficulty factor like it was for him so here is the rotation he is the eighth man is going to be playing 18 minutes a game he is the third string small forward and yeah this Raptors team isn't good at all real life they finished bottom two in the league I'm not expecting much wins but yeah all right so Tracy McGrady is going to be making his NBA debut against the Cleveland Cavaliers at home this team really isn't all that special, neither. They do have Sean Kemp and Ogauskas, though, in the front court. It's going to be tough to score. And other than that, pretty much nobody. They still are a better team than us. Not expecting the win, but you never know what could happen. All right, so here we go. Hopping into Tracy McGrady's first ever NBA game. And there might even be another game in this episode. Let's hop straight into this one, though. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna have to wait for Tracy McGrady to sub in. And he subs in up 19 points against this Cavaliers team. Whoa, this is some domination right here. Tracy McGrady, first possession of the NBA spin move. And that's a forced layup. There's the miss. Anderson with the ball, taking it at T Mac. I feel like that's pretty good defense. He's gonna get the layup to go though. T Max spotting up in the corner, has the room, mid range shot, 0 for 2 to start in T Max debut. Anderson, shot clock winding down, let's get this stop. He has to force, crash the boards. T Mac gets his rebound. Looks like he's gonna have space. T Mac left open for three, bang! First career NBA points for Tracy McGrady. 4 3. Oh, Ferry with the jumper misses T Mac with his second rebound. Can he get an assist now? Williams down the lane. Oh, picked off. Let's get a good shot to end the quarter. T Mac off the screen. One more. Shoot the jumper, Jones. And no assist. End of the first. Pretty decent margin. I'm surprised by that, actually. Give me that. Oh, I read that. T Mac, good defense, though. Can he get the board? Yes, he does. His third rebound. And he's pushing the ball. We see Damon Stoudemire mid-range shot. That's contested though. T-Mac almost got the offensive board. T-Mac, no one steps up on him. Has the open shot. Greens it. Bang. His second three-pointer. Six points for Tracy McGrady. Good steal. Damon Stoudemire with the steal. McGrady running the court all the way for his first ever dunk. And obviously, many more to come. McGrady in the post. Let's see if he can work the post. McGrady. Shimmy. Fade away. Good. Like, I'm trying to keep it realistic and, like, make him score his average, but I'm already above his average. It's just so easy to score with T-Mac, no matter what overall he is, as he subs out back in up 19 late in the second quarter. Just imagine him being, like, a 90 overall. He's going to be dropping 50 a game. Good drive, Wallace. Ogowskis working the boards. That's a big boy. A leaf person. Bang. Cavs cut the lead to 20. Person trying to take the rookie. It doesn't work. He clamped him up. Knight. Five seconds to operate. I'm stuck on everybody. I still close out another bang. Doug Christie has 28 points at the half. Well, that explains why we're up big. Two seconds. He has to hook. That's a hook. We can't get the board. Oh my gosh, dude. Another offensive rebound. Good block. 
What? Another offensive rebound. And they get a bucket. That was their third chance on that possession. Third or fourth. T-Mac intercepts that pass. Can he outrun him? No, he's going to dish it off to Damon Stoudemire. And that's his first ever assist. Good finish by Stoudemire. T-Mac wide open for three again. Good release. Bang. Third three-pointer for Tracy McGrady. McGrady now working the post. Wow, he shook him all the way down there. Fade away. It's good. He bodied him all the way down to under the basket. McGrady picks up the loose ball. Can he make the pass? Probably going out of bounds. What a catch by Williams. And the finish. That is an assist. Guys, I've been playing off the ball the all game. So these possessions you see me score are like one of the few possessions I get to handle the ball. Like this one. One more. And fouled. T-Mac in the post again. They're doubling the rookie. What a find by the rookie for his third assist. I thought Hall of Fame would make it somewhat of a challenge. Not really. I guess... Maybe when we face a better team, it will be Brevin Knight deep in the paint. He's not going to get that to go. Sura for three. Okay. Ooh, McGrady's down the court. Has one man to beat. McGrady all the way. What? Wait, what? Why did, why did we call? I did not call that timeout, I swear. What just happened? Why did Coach call timeout in the middle of a fast break as I'm going to the basket? Maybe I did by accident. I don't know. Well... T-Mac subbed out after that one. Coach didn't like what he saw. Back in, only up 12 now with two McGrady's in the game with two minutes left. And my team can't cross half court. About to get an eight second violation. Okay, we just did. We forced a shot for some reason. McGrady working the boards though. Tracy McGrady, what a rebound. Over Ogowskis now has him on him. Oh wait, five seconds, I didn't even realize. McGrady. Oh my gosh, that's the four. Steps it back on Elgowskis. Didn't expect that to fall. All right, and Tracy McGrady gets the victory in his NBA debut. And not a bad performance by any means. We beat the Cavs by nine points. Although the star of this game was Doug Christie with his 40.6 rebound, three assists, two steal performance. Marcus Camby, 16-12, and there's T-Mac. Playing his 18 minutes, and in those 18 minutes had 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, a block, 2 turnovers, 6 for 10 from the field. As for the Cavs, it was Wesley Person with 27, Henderson with 22, where's Sean Kemp? Sean Kemp, 10 and 14, but they end up losing to this mediocre Raptors team. Here we are in the program in which we upgrade Tracy McGrady. If you still don't know what this is, I touch up on it a little bit in episode one. But how it works is we enter the stats that he accumulated for the game and we enter them and we have experience points for that game and we can upgrade whatever we want, his attributes, his badges. Also, what I do is if I win, I double his stats because this program is meant for grinders. You play every game of the season. Obviously, I'm not doing that. I'm playing one game a month. So to make up for that, I'm doing doubling only on wins though. And I leave turnovers blank because they're glitching the program. Program. If you enter a certain number of turnovers, you'll get zero and just glitches out the program. This program is buggy, but it's still one heck of a program. It's still fun to use. So let's enter Tracy's stats from his NBA debut. And we're going to double them since we did win. And we did win. We're going to select win 1300 for this performance. Not bad at all. And here are his attributes. We have 1300 to spend. First things first, I want to upgrade his speed and his speed of a ball. I'm thinking five each for five. All right, I did 81 by accident for, now he has 81 speed. One, two, three, four, and five. 75 speed with ball. Successful upgrade right there. Let's move on to game two though. So that was unexpected. I did not expect this Raptors team to start one and oh, but let's hop into the next game. And like I said, I'm gonna be playing like one game a month in the game. Usually I have you guys vote for what game I should play, but I forgot to do that in the previous episode. So I'm gonna just pick the best matchup possible. And I think that's either against the Lakers or the Jazz. The Jazz were the best team in the West in real life. Of course, they got Stockton, Hornacek, Russell Malone. The Lakers have Shaq and a young Kobe. Oh wait, never mind. We have a game against the Chicago Bulls in the month of November. So this has to be the game we play, man. Facing off against Michael Jordan. Oh boy. Okay, so the simulation up to this game wasn't that bad. We actually are 8-8 eight and eight heading into this game against the Bulls. 
Wait a minute. One thing I didn't notice. Our starting point guard broke his right leg and is out 8 to 10 weeks. Um, that was literally our starting point guard. Our next point guard is Chris Garner at a 67 overall. Respert's also hurt. He was a 70 overall, though. He has a torn right meniscus. What is going on? The injury bug is alive and well already. Oh, man. Here we go. Let's see T-Max subbed in up four against this Bulls team. No Michael Jordan on the court at the moment. Wallace to a cutting T-Mac. Back to Wallace. Okay, that was such a slow pass. T-Mac down the middle. Has Steve Kerr on him. Can they... Yes, this is a play for T-Mac. I'm just going to back down Steve Kerr, bro. I'm backing down Steve Kerr. Fade away for T-Mac. He contested that pretty well. All right, T-Mac. Deep in the paint against Steve Kerr. He's not going to miss that one. He gets his first bucket of the game. Good block. Garner with the board. Tracy McGrady. Open court in front of him. Finds Wallace. Wallace. Finds Rodgers, and Rodgers lays it up. T-Mac tips the pass and intercepts it. He has the open court again all the way for a layup. I wanted a dunk, but he fouled me. And our 67 overall starting point guard gets stripped. And now they have a fast break, and he loses it. Brown picks it back up, though, denied. They get the board again. Wennington in the paint gets fouled. They end up it. T-Mac in the post. Shot clock winding down. T-Mac, a little shimmy, fade away again. That one's open, and it's good. T-Mac intercepts that again. T-Mac, one more to Chris Garner. Takes it all the way, foul. Oh, T-Mac strips him, and T-Mac is going to get rewarded with the dunk. T-Mac, what a box out, and what a rebound. Let's give it to the point guard, Garner. Garner with the mid-range shot. No good. T-Mac. Offensive board. T-Mac. Working that glass. T-Mac. Two seconds. Give it to T-Mac. Garner launches. Oh. Dude. End of the first quarter. We are up seven. On arguably the best. Not even arguably. He, this is the best team in the league. Tracy McGrady with takeover. Still. No Michael Jordan. No Scottie Pippen in the game. Call the screen. T-Mac. All the way. Oh boy, Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan have checked into the game. We have to huck it. We have one second. And we get the offensive board. Tabic, find me inside the paint. Good pass. Bro, McGrady is playing the point guard position now. That's how much in desperate need we have of a point guard. Chris Garner's not going to cut it. Jordan fadeaway is good. Here we go with Michael Jordan. T Mac is on Michael Jordan. What a task. For the rookie, Jordan, going at T-Mac. Ooh, that's pretty good defense. We stopped him. I'm sorry, but this is a mismatch. This is a mismatch. McGrady, take advantage of the matchup. Easy lay. T-Mac, another rebound. And he is excelling the fast break. What a pass. Rodgers, can you finish? Yes, you do. First assist of the game. Wait, I just realized we're up big against this team. Dude, McGrady subs back in. Dude, we are up 15 against this team. I don't know what is going on, but this team is clicking right now. McGrady tips that. Almost got the steal. Dude, we're just playing really well together. Look at that defense. That should have been a steal, to be honest. Steve Kerr back to Brown. Like, they have no offense right now. It's so stagnant with Michael Jordan not on the court. Pippen has to force in the corner. Ready? That's a force. Get the board. I'm there for the board. T-Mac. Is someone going to step up? Yes. We see Jones for the mid-range shot. And I'm crashing. Couldn't get that board. We got Steve Kerr on us. Yeah, right, Steve. You ain't guarding T-Mac. T-Mac fade away. Green. It's just too easy for him. I got to charge my controller. T-Mac intercepted. Tracy McGrady making a name for himself in a game against the best team in the league. T-Mac, good screen. T-Mac, open mid-range. Would have rather have been a three. He has a higher three-point rating, but Wallace with the put Oh, Rodgers with the putback. All right, T-Mac, up 15, checks out for the rest of the game. Beating the Bulls by 28 points. I got to check the minutes of Michael Jordan and Pippen because when I was in the game, they were only in for like a minute or two. All right, Jordan played 30 minutes. That's kind of low, but 30 minutes is 30 minutes. He just wasn't in the game at the same time as T-Mac. Jordan had 24, 8, 3, and 2. 
Scotty had 14. That's pretty much it. You would, you would expect more from this dynamic duo as Tracy McGrady led the Raptors in scoring, filling the stat sheet in his 18 minutes with 22 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals, and 2 blocks, making a name for himself early in his career. Doug Christie at 23, 2, and 2. Walt Williams also filled the stat sheet. All right, so we beat the Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls. T-Mac had a decent performance in this one as well. Let's enter his stats. Turnovers blank. You know the deal. We did indeed win the game. 1,700 for this one. We got 1,300 last time. 1,700 for this one. More upgrades. Once again, I want to do a speed and speed with ball because I need T-Mac to be fast in order for him to dominate. And we're going to get an error. We could work our way around that though. All right, 80 speed with ball. Let's turn that up a notch. 85, 85 speed with ball with 500 experience points. Left to spend. Let's just do that. The rest on his speed, two, three, and four. All right, as you can see, we're about halfway to 85. We're at 84 and a half right now for speed. But it's pretty much all I wanted to get out the way, dude. His speed, he was too slow for me. And now he's faster. So looking at the stats, 11.4 points per game from McGrady. Real life, it was 7 points per game. And really, 7 points per game is just too easy, dude. I can't do that. 4 rebounds a game. In real life, it was 4.2. 1.9 assists. real life, it was 1.5. 0.8 steals. That is actually on the dot, as in real life. 0.5 blocks, but in real life, it was 1 block. His field goal percentage is almost on the dot, 44.8. In real life, it was 45 on the dot. So, so far, kind of realistic. Thank you for watching episode 2. Episode 3 coming real soon. Can we hit 500 likes, guys? That would be greatly appreciated. Oh, wait, I forgot. Two games in the next episode as well. We finished, we finished October and November. Time to move on to the game for the month of December and January. For December, you got games like Cavs, Nuggets, Sixers, Nets. Bucks, Clippers, Blazers, Warriors, Heat, the Magic, and for January. Also, you got a rematch against the Bulls in December. For January, we got the Jazz, Spurs, Wizards, Celtics, Suns, Grizzlies. You see it right here. The Rockets with Hakeem. Let me know who I should play for the month of December and January. Leave a comment. And yeah, guys, until next time, I'm out.